Hi guys, Tony here. Today I'm gonna to be answering two questions. Is age reversal possible and is it worth it? So starting with age reversal, yes, it is definitely possible. Some people have a difference of opinion on that. I myself, I've reversed my biological age. But let's talk about someone a bit more in the public eye like Brian Johnson. I've seen people say in comments that he's not reversed his age, he's just made himself healthier. And I'm gonna dissect that a little bit because age and health are interchangeable. So what happens when you reverse your biological age? Well, you look younger, you feel younger, you have more energy, you live longer, you have less disease as you get older. So how is that not reversing your age? Just by getting healthier, all those things that are associated with vitality get better, so you can in fact reverse your age. This is just a bit of a myth where people think it's just not possible. Age and health are the same thing. I think for the average person, they think age is more of a vanity thing and health is different, but they're both the same thing. And so I sometimes hear the term being coined to me, which is growing old gracefully. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean getting dementia and having someone wipe your ass in a nursing home? You'd hope not, but if, you're, if, if that meant growing old gracefully was just do nothing, then uh, that is a very distinct possibility. I won't go into too much depth about my age reversal, but one thing I'll just mention is I've reversed my pace of aging in the last four and a half months. So previously back in June, I was aging at 0.91 years per chronological year, and now I've gone down to 0.84. So if you compare it, it's close to almost like an 8% uh, relative age reversal, the speed of my aging. I won't go into details about the things I did, but they're all very maintainable things. I could have made this number go down even faster, but I'm trying to do it, as I say, in a maintainable way and not do too many things at the same time because you need to know when you change something, what you're doing is effective. So if you did too many things at the same time, you'd be struggling to work out what made the biggest change. Another example is back in the spring of this year, I did a brain age test and I was coming in at 40 years old. At the time I was 36 and now at 37, nine months later, I did another one and I'm coming in at 30. Back in the early months of 2021, I remember I actually did a test to see actually if I had cognitive decline because I was struggling to focus so much, my brain fog was that bad and what it turned out was my diet was just so poor at that period of time. I, I'm someone that yo-yos over the years. That's why when you see that test of me at the age of 20, then I, I was in a more of a, in a fit stage. But a few years after that photo, I bloomed up by 45 kilos for a period of time and went back down again and then went, even went back up again in the, in the year 2021. But since the summer of 2021, I've been on that health train and my interest is unwavering now. And that gets me on to, is it worth it? And over that period of time, I've spent thousands upon thousands. Some things, yes, are more effective than others. Now, you could argue, is it worth it for the age reversal I've had? And the answer is an unequivocal yes. There's yes, there's things I could have done more effectively. There's a lot of money I could have saved. And my, myself being an, a health coach, yeah, I'm always looking for ways just to find the most effective things for people because yeah, just doing the bare minimum, you can get most of the benefits from the bare minimum. I yes, I try and push the envelope by doing extra things, but just by doing those basics that can be quite cheap, then I think that is really, really effective. And I'd see some of these things are like a no brainer. Why would you not do it? By focusing on anti-aging, not only do you look younger, but another reason you actually feel more relaxed. The reason why is if you feel like your candle, your clock is burning that bit slower, it's the time is extended, that you're not worried about time running out, then you don't suffer from something called FOMO, fear of missing out. Because if you feel like you've extended your life massively and you're gonna be look healthy as you get older, then that fear of missing out is no longer such a problem. Imagine, say, you think of life as like a jigsaw puzzle or a computer game. If you've got a timer there and that timer is running faster, you're trying to solve that puzzle, that puzzle becomes a lot more stressful, doesn't it? So if you feel like suddenly you've slowed down that timer, imagine then everything just becomes a bit more relaxed. I've talked about this previously, but I think the term midlife crisis, I think people underrate it. I think it is a real like, mental condition. It needs to be taken seriously. At the moment, it's a bit of a joke. And I think that, that, that this is an example of a midlife crisis is when, uh, when you hit that and you realize that you haven't achieved the things you have, time's running out and, you, and you're already looking, your face is starting to sag, you're already getting 
tired all the time and then you realize you know you, things aren't just going to get done that you wanted to do so imagine if you alleviate that by you know extending your life and health span then surely that helps a lot i know in my case i think i've gone from an early midlife crisis and what i've been doing it has helped massively so i recommend it across the board to people so just to reiterate yes i think anti-aging is worth it i just feel like at the moment there's an all or nothing approach either people don't give a shit about it or they're too obsessed and hyper focused so somewhere in the middle maybe you could argue i'm a bit too much taking the amount of supplements i take but i'm trying to keep it within a, a, like a certain amount. I don't want to spend crazy money, so I'm just trying to always uh, value engineer what I do to get the most effectiveness. But yes, I take a lot more pills and do a lot more treatments than the average person. But at the same time, there is a sweet spot to be made where you can get most of the benefits without having to spend loads of money. And that's where even having an epigenetic coach, you can uh, tailor, like myself, you can actually tailor the supplements that are just specifically you need for your genetics. And just with a few tests a year, then you can actually really know what's going on inside your body. In essence, you're treating your body like a race car like with a well-managed team rather than just your old banger that nobody cares about. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.